Hey, I'm just Roscoe and we're back in The Sims. Now I'm going to build a building live-ish rather than in a time lapse. And we're going to do it in Evergreen Harbour. I haven't actually um, looked at Evergreen Harbour yet. It's exciting, isn't it? I do like how you've got the eco footprint. So it tells you which air, like you can have an effect on this. So if we pollute this area here, um, which is quarry something, um, it would actually get polluted and you'd see a difference on the road. So you'd see rubbish building up, um, smog, pollution, things like that. This one here is already polluted. And then this one here is neutral, I think that means. I am a little disappointed with how many building spots you've got. Like you, there's four spots in each. I know you've got five over here. Ignore me, there's five over here, but one of those is a bar, because every map must have a bar. You've given us the ability to move between maps, so you don't need to put a bar on everyone. But anyway, so you've got four sort of blocks, and one of those in each of these, uh, here is that one, that one there, and that one there, is the community space. Which is nice, but that leaves you two building spots and an apartment. Two building spots and an apartment. It's not a lot, to be fair. Like, I'm going to choose this house here to rebuild, which is Canal Corner. So let's go and jump into that. We're going in build mode. I could have made a sim, but we're not going to do a let's play unless you want to see a let's play, and I'm quite happy to do one. But I've tried a sims let play, let's play before on the channel, and it didn't do that well. Um, I enjoy playing sims. But I don't know if you, you guys want to watch it. So if you do, let me know. Uh, basically, we are going to flatten this lot. Bulldoze the terrain. No, bulldoze the lot. Everything. Get rid of it all. Bosh. Gone. Now, this is lovely. I really like the land, the, the worlds they create around. Like, look, it looks really nice. But you all know what I'm going to say. Why can I not build on this plot, this plot, this plot, this plot, this plot? Like, you could do a whole thing here. We could build on all of these, like, individual houses. How, how cool would that be? You'd have all your different families in. You could try and sort of pretend you were building a plot, a sort of an estate to go together. And you could do all of these and they'd look so good. But we can't. We can only build on this very, very corner lot, apparently. So now whatever we build is going to look completely different to those which is fine I, I'm fine with that uh, if I had my way I'd bulldoze a lot and restart all of them but I don't have that choice so I'm thinking I need to play around more with enlarging and shrinking items and I actually there is a coffee table I'm sure it's a coffee table I've got my mic in the middle here so if you see me lean into one side that's why um, was it a co I'm sh maybe it was a sideboard I want, no, I think it was definitely a coffee table. Let, oh, there it is. That's the one I want. And I want it to be colored white. And we're just going to size it up. I'm not sure how practical this is going to be to play with, but let's put it there for the time being and then see how the walls line up with it. So if I go there. Okay, so it definitely needs, wait, what size are those walls? No, we want short walls, thank you. There we go, lovely. It only just sort of sticks through, which is a bit annoying, but we, we could possibly do something about that. If I lift it slightly, what's the gap around the bottom? Oh, tiny, we, we can hide that away. That is fine, we can go with that. So let's carry on with putting walls in. Like, hmm, maybe like that. And then if we grab hold of the table and use Alt, we can just sort of... I want a bit of a, a ledge at the front so it sort of overhangs like that. See, that looks nice. We'll go with that. Um, let's grab some more walls. Now, obviously, when you put the walls down to look inside, this table is not going to go anywhere. So the plan is to very much treat it like a doll's house. That's my thinking. Is that joined on? It's not. Okay, do I get a, do I get a ceiling on that? Does that not class as a room? 
This is what confuses me with the room system in this game. Wait, 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 wait. We'll turn that round and we're going to join you onto there like that. Oh, I have got a ceiling. It's because I'm on the wrong level. Ignore me. I'm being an, I am being an idiot. Um, so yeah, this is the plan. That table looks really grey now. What? My table hasn't changed colours, right? No, it's still white, apparently. Oh, I suppose it's the, the, the sunlight, is it? Ooh, why is that doing that? Why can you see the shade of the building through it? What? Okay, 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 okay. Um, no, don't move it. You stay there. Can we raise you one more? To There we go. That's better. We're going to go with that. I will fix those sides somehow. I'm not sure how, but we're going to do it. I want white walls. And that's one thing we don't have a lot of in this game. So we're going to go with that one. There we go. Lovely. And I'm thinking we could have a skylight over the back here just to make sense of this back bit like that that might work we'll do that we're going to get rid of the there's no eaves on it is there no we're, we're good are we are we all good yeah we're going to flatten it down as much as possible Ugh. I don't like it oh I know what we can use um, delete that undo Go away. Thank you. We've got that rug, haven't we? Well, not rug, but that item that lets you do see-through floors. Uh, let's go to here. Crystal, is it? Crystal clear. There we go. That one. Can I have this? And we'll put that. Oh, it might help if I do it all the way along. Hold shift. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Is that orange surround? Oh, I like that. Hmm, I'm thinking my choice of white walls now might be different. We either have to make this one shorter, which seems a bit small. So we'll go one bigger. And the table's going to move with it. To pa oh, this is going to be annoying. Let's move the table over here for the time being. And we can move the table in afterwards. How about that? If we do that... I'm gonna you I'm gonna do what architects seem to like black at the moment so let's go black we're gonna go black cladding of some description hmm I don't mind that is there anything else come see that's a bit bit much see that's nice if it wasn't for that bit on the bottom that's like charcoal walls isn't it I think that's probably going to be our best bet for cladding. Although, that would be nice. Can we get that in black? No, of course we can't. If I had a colour wheel, I could. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with that. I'm going to probably just do the ceiling. Because you're not going to be able to see it anyway. But I, I, I feel like I want to put something on it. So we're going to go for this nice dark concrete there. Get that in there. Um, we want to get... Let's see... Right, where are you sitting? Right, I have to put this back on now. You're sitting about there. That works so far. So we could put the door in the side, do we reckon? So you go in, so it's sort of like a hidden doorway. That might be a good idea. Let's do that. So let's grab a big glass door of some description. Hmm... Probably not these. I do love these doors, though. I think they're amazing. They'd probably be quite good on the front here. Uh, can I have orange? No? Not going to let me have orange, are you? No. Orange would be really good. I've been watching a lot of... Oh, God, I've put the table in the wall there. That's not good. Can you move over that way? Right. We just want you to be very on the edge. Is that good? Yes. I really like the fact those have got orange surrounds. Orange is very in with architects at the minute, apparently. Orange window frames. Which is what we need. We just don't have. 
Hmm. Maybe I'll just go for a normalish door. What did Eco come with? Let's go to packs and we'll see what doors Eco came with. Oh, see, I don't mind that. That's all right. Is that orange? Orangish. Why is the wood? Why is the wood white? Hmm. Maybe that. No, that's not right. Maybe we'll just go for a big. Can we have grey? No. I always want a colour that they don't give me. They do give us a lot better variety of colours now than they ever have though. So I think we should... That door might be a bit ugly. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Black seems a bit meh. Hmm. Maybe, maybe this is a container. No, that's stupid. You wouldn't use that as a front door. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go with these big old doors here. Are you too big to go on there? If I put you there, do you stick out that side? Of course you do. Let's go for the next size down. There, and we're going to go for black, I think, so it matches the build. And that actually fits the entire side there. That's good. Now let's get some windows. How I'm going to get this done in the time, I don't know. This might be split into two episodes at this rate. I think this should be just one big glass. Or maybe, maybe we could do a little pattern. So let's get the black. If I go there, and how big's that other one? There we go, there. And we can leave a space. Hmm, wait, 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 wait. Let's get one on this end. We'll get that one on there like that. And then we can have one in the middle. Perfect. It's really open. It's it's there to enjoy the garden. That's the plan anyway. Um, so. I think that's pretty good. We need to sort out the outside before I start anything. So what am I going to put along here? Do we have any blocks or anything I can use? Blocks would be good. No. No, we don't. Although, there's a pedestal, isn't there? So I see a lot of YouTubers use pedestals. Is it a pedestal? Pedestal in structures. No, that's not the one I want. Okay, wait. Go back. Pedestal. That one. No. Hmm. Hmm. It's definitely a pedestal of some description. Let, let's just type, click on ped and see what it brings up. It's like a white box. That one there. There we go. That's a bit of a different shade from the table, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, let's reduce it down in size. We'll try and if I reduce it one more, that's going to be too small then, isn't it? Of course it is. Okay, let's think about this. We could probably, we could probably make this a feature. Oh no, it might help if I hold shift. We're going to go there. That works. Um, I have to size down every time, which is a bit annoying. Right. Okay, I'm going to put these in off camera and then I'll bring you back. And there we have it. We've got the nice little surround along the bottom. I've gone for black. I thought that sort of suited the build more. And then I've put in these planters either side. Now I know we're not going to be able to naturally plant along the back. So I've put these plants in. So it looks like there's something growing there. And then you can go along and plant along the front. I'm just going to show you the other side. Which we've got the same thing going on there. Um, different plants of course. I want it to feel like you've got a variety of plants, uh, plants and vegetables. Uh, we've got this nice orange path. I really like the idea of these orange windows on top, which you can't actually see at the moment. There we go, those. Um, but when I search for the colour orange, the only really decent windows are these. Um, they would work really well if I could flip this one over and then get one for the middle so it was one big window all the way along. But apparently that's not the case. This is what that win... It's a bit of a weird window. It's got... I don't know. I don't know what the thinking behind it is, but it's it's not going in our build anyway. So, 
So we will do the front garden. I think we should probably concentrate on the interior before we actually waste our time on the front garden because this is more important. We have to squeeze a lot in here. So let's go and find a bed we like. Just because that's probably one of the biggest items. We could use a Murphy bed, but I'm not a huge fan of them. Have we got anything that looks a little bit minimalist and modern? No. Lighting's terrible in here. Let's get some lights in first off. I'm probably just going to go with my normal ceiling ones because they give off some of the lights give off terrible amounts of light. Where have they gone? La la la. Looking around my microphone here. There they are. We'll take those. We'll shrink them right down to small. And we'll just put a couple in there. Do you know, I wish I had the ability to copy and paste in this game. That would have made those flower beds so much easier. Because every time I put a new block down, I had to resize it and then line it up, place that down, resize the next one, line it up, place that down. Uh, back to bed selection, shall we? What about that? That is huge. Well, it's not that big. It just looks massive. Something simple that we could probably hide the headboard in the wall. Hmm. They, these are a new... Let's go for that, actually. If we, I don't like the brown base. If we just sort of... What if we put that that end? Like that. There's not going to be a much, much room for a lot in here, but... If we go for that... Do we have a black base for this? Hello? No. We do have that. We could go green. Not hating green, because it is all about the outside bringing the interior in. I think we're probably just going to stick with what we've got and then just actually get rid of the headboard completely. Which is a bit bizarre, but it'll work, he says. How does that look for space down that side? That's actually quite a good amount of space. So now we need to decide on how we're going to get a bathroom. I'm thinking the bathroom should definitely go in this corner. Then we'll have kitchen and living room area here. I don't particularly want solid walls in here. So something that... These are really good for acting as walls. Can we have that in white, please? Thank you. So a wall, but not a wall. Oh, that's not going to give me much room there, though, is it? And I can't really start it. That, oh, it's there or there, which is rubbish either way. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Why? Let me put the grid back on so we can see a minute. That's a little annoying. I suppose we could go there, which would give them a bit of a bigger bedroom. If I do that, and then that and that, because we still want to keep the light, airy feel of this place. Uh, the issue there is we're still going to be able to see the bathroom. Hmm. Hmm. How far over do you reckon we can move this bed before the Sims can't use it? Let's go into the room. How much space have you got that side? That's about even, but if we put a wall oh, if we put a wall here, it's unlikely we'll be able let's let's try it. If we do that. And we're going to copy and paste the wallpaper again. We want to keep it as light and airy in, in here as possible. This might not turn out too well, but we're going to give it a go. And we will get a sim in here to test it as well, which is probably a good idea. Should we go for the eco lifestyle toilet? It's a bit different with its little... <laughs> I love the fact you're going to be able to see whoever's going to the toilet. Normally, I'd say that's not a great design, but you know what? I'm going with it. So the toilet can go there. We can get a sink next to it, which I presume we have a sink to go with this set. We do. Look at that. I actually think I prefer the dark grey. Where was the dark grey gone? That one? Should we go with that one? Which means we need to change the colour of the toilet. 
So we're going with the original colour, really. So there we go. There's that. Uh, we can get a mirror on the wall. That was very farmer, wasn't it? Mirror. Um, what sort of mirror do we want? We could mirror, do the entire wall, which would, which would open up the space a bit. Probably not the most... Oh, ooh, I like that better with the light around it. Let's do another one of those. Are you seriously not going to line up? Line up for me, please. Thank you. There we go. So we've got a light all the way around there. Now we should probably get a bath in. I think that's an ideal spot for a bath just there. And we do have a bath for this set, right? Not to that. Although, what colour does that come in? I quite... I don't hate it. It doesn't come in any nice colours, so that's no good. That one, on the other hand... I'm actually liking. And we could go grey. And put that in there like that. So they have a bathroom, technically. It's not the best bathroom, and the bedroom is tiny. If usable at all. But let's go with that for the time being. And then we can have a look at kitchens. Because I think... Wait, let me turn this around. The kitchen is ideal on that... Oh, you're going to come in there. So it's going to be quite a small kitchen. But that's fine. We don't mind a small kitchen. How about we go stainless steel? So you could go there. Then we could have... A corner piece in there, which has a top on it when the other one doesn't, apparently. And then we'll go back to this one. Why doesn't that one have a top on it? Is it only when it's against the wall it gets an, a lip on it? Yes. Well, that's annoying. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll do that then. Uh, we can put that. Oh, God. What are your corner, your edges like? We could go small, like that, and then put the cooker in there. This is going to be a... V God knows where the fridge is going. Hmm. Um, what cooker do we want? Let's go with... Let's go... No, I don't like that. Can we change the colour of it to anything that would suit this kitchen? No. I quite like the orange, though. Where's the orange gone? It seems to have a wood effect to it, though. That's a bit random. Let's go for that one. Why not? Smallest kitchen in the world. Okay, refrigerator. How am I going to get one of these in? Can I... What? I wish these would fit in the, in the cupboards. I don't understand why they don't, in all fairness. Hmm. Hmm. We could, wait, we could extend the kitchen slightly, so it drops back a bit, which probably won't ruin the look of the building, like that. It might actually make this side look a bit more interesting. So if I do that and plaid the lot, we do end up with this bit that's not glazed now though. So we'll have to find some white flooring to go on there, I think. Uh, let's get rid of that. Wait, where are you? That one. No, that one. Can you come this way? Thank you. And it moves the counters for me, which is lovely. Let's go back round the front here. And then we could put the fridge in there, I suppose. Hmm. I still think we're going to have to go for one of those small fridges. Just so it doesn't look... Ruin the whole sort of flow through the building so you can see all the way through. And it does annoy me a bit that the counters leave so much space. So let's just nudge those up a bit. It might work, it might not. That is a tiny kitchen to be fair. I personally think it leaves too much space either side of the cooker as well. I might actually get rid of that little one. Bring that one in now, and then bring the little one back. Like that. Does that look alright? It looks okay. What if we put that one there? Trying to get the right layout is... We could put that there. That would work. 
you could go on to there and then you could go there. It does annoy me that you get this lip here but not on this. It looks a bit random but we're going to go with it. Now, do we have any matching cupboards for this? Probably not. That's normally the case when I do these builds. Because they seem to give us new kitchens but don't always match cupboards up to go with it. For some reason. So if you go up there, have we got any solid cupboards? Solid cupboards in these would be quite nice. We do have that one. Ooh, I tell you what we could do. Let's grab this and we'll try and make it so this is fitted in underneath the unit. Like that. And then if I grab another one, we can really sort of block them in like that. Making full use of that space. Does the fridge look a bit bizarre there? Yes, but we're going with it. Have I got a... F yes, we have got a solid cupboard, which is nice. That's going to have to line up properly though. So if I do that, and then we can get a short cupboard. Do I want a short cupboard there? These, these are quite high, these cupboards. I think we can get away with not having a short cupboard there. Like that. And then we can put in a extractor fan. I tend to use the same one for this. If I can move it up a bit. It won't look too bizarre. Wait, is that lined up? We're looking through the window at the minute, so I do apologise. See, that's alright. This looks a bit random here. Unless we can sort of make it feel like that's built in somehow. So it puts panel in either side? I don't know if that's going to let me use the fridge now. We'll find out. Uh, we should probably put some tiles in this build. So let's go to tiling for the kitchen. Um, can I have some tiles, please? Thank you. I really like these. Probably not there. Probably just along the back there. Like that. See, that's all right. That's not bad. We're definitely not getting a living room in here. <laughs> Maybe. We, maybe? I say maybe like I've got loads of space. I really, really don't. Let's go to living room. We'll try and find a sofa. Oh my god. How are we going to squeeze all this in? That's quite nice. We could get that to work for us. If we put that... It is going to be tight. If we put you there... And then we get a telly... On that wall there. Can we do that? No, nope, stop it. Oh god, it's because I'm snapping to the wall. Let's try and go inside. Oh, why have you got a horrible back on you? Why can't you just be flat? You've got a stand on you. That's no good. That one here's... Oh, wait. I was going to say that's massive, but we can actually shrink it down, can't we? So let's go there, and then we can raise it up to about there, do you reckon? And that hasn't got a horrible stand on the back, has it? No. That would work, and that leaves us this little space to get a dining table in. We might actually do this. I'm quite impressed. Uh, we want a tiny little table. Maybe not black. That's a bit harsh. We could go with that one. If I can move that to there. Let's go inside so we can actually see how much space we've got to work with. And we get a couple of the chairs. I'm liking, what am I liking at the moment? Something a bit modern and plain, really. Which we don't have a lot of chairs that fit that style, really. Maybe wood. We haven't got much wood into this build. Have we got a white version of that? We have. I'm thinking. Right, wait there, we'll put one there, one there. Oh! Oh, I've done something. I've pressed F1, I think, because I tend to have a habit of pressing escape, which in a lot of games cancels what you're doing. Um, but clearly I mispressed and now we're back on the, the map. So if you didn't know how to get to the map quickly, you press F1. <laughs> okay, so 
that is looking like a livable space. We've got a little... We should probably have a rug, actually. Rugs make everything better. Ooh. Is that just a plain black rug? Do you know what? I don't hate that. Now we need to get some plants in there. Because this is, this is supposed to be an eco-build after all. So they would have lots of plants dotted around. Can we make that one bigger? We can either make it massive or not massive. That is our options. What about that one? Have you got a plain vase? Vase. Sorry. Vase, vase, whatever you call it. I don't like the plant. <laughs> hmm. Anything I have is probably going to be a... Yeah, that's massive. That's no good. Do, do, do. I'm just trying to look around my microphone. Do, do excuse me a second. I like that. Does that sit on the floor? Doesn't mean it does go with the build, but it's not what I'm after. I want some greenery. That one, I do like that one. Now, are you going to stick through the, the window? Can we? Ah, oh, can I get closer? He says, trying to work the camera and get in there at the same time. That table's in the way now. Uh, that would work, right? Let's put the walls up and have a look. Have we got any sticking through? No, we don't. See, that's good. A bit of sort of bric-a-brac around. We can get another plant in here somewhere. Or possibly a unit of some description actually would probably be a better option. If I'm correct, there's some nice small sideboards in the... Oh, that one, that one I don't mind. That sort of brings the bed frame into the equation. So if we drop this back into there... It's not ideal, there's not a lot of storage in this house, but it would work. I really want to open this wall up somehow. Okay, put the walls back down a second. Maybe we could have a window on the back. Let's put the, yeah, a window on the back I definitely think is a good idea. We do have a double, a one-sided window, don't we? Like, you can only see through one side. But it is huge, if I'm correct. Wait, put the walls up for me, please. Thank you. And then if I flip it round, I think for a private room like that, that's going to add a lot of light, but still keep the privacy. I think that is a great plan. That's what we're going to go with. I would, do you know what I'd like? Just a circle that I could cut out of that wall there. Hmm. Do I like these fences? I do. I don't think there's a better option for them. I think that works quite nicely. But a circle or some sort of shape, I can cut out that wall. Wait, I know this is massive. Bear with me. I'm testing a theory. Oh. Can we make you smaller or does the glass glitch? No, the hole just... <laughs> The hole just stays the same. So we could have a hole in the wall. You'd never know. <laughs> oh God. Hmm. Like a, just a tiny little plain hole. Can we change you so you don't have any struts on you? No. Anything we could put in there. Maybe a little square window? It just feels so... Yeah, like a, it looks like a picture on the wall, but it's not. It's actually open. Oh, do I like that? I tell you what we need. We need glass. Remember years ago, you had glass blocks in bathrooms and things like that. Glass block wall would mean you get the light coming through, but it's not solid. That's what we need. We definitely need a picture above the bed, though, so let's do that. I'm just cautious about time here, so let's get a picture above the bed, and then we'll... Do something to the front of the house. What sort of picture do we want? Quite a large one, I think. What are you? Oh, you're pretty. Not really appropriate for this build, I feel, but I love these. I think these are beautiful. We could go with that. It's quite a statement piece. And because you can see right through the house... That sort of acts like a, a headboard and a piece of art that you should be able to see from most places in the house. 
Yeah, see, look at that. I like that. So that's how we're going to leave the interior. Normally I would clutter it up, but I am running short on time and I really want to get the front garden done. We probably need to put some sort of roof on this. Why are those windows moved? What, what, what? You go back where I put you. There's already a roof on it. That's fine. That suits me. So this is all about light and openness and feeling like... A connection between the house and the garden no matter how small the house is we're gonna have a connection between that and the garden I'm feeling water actually we should probably have some sort of maybe a swimming pool I don't tend to put swimming pools in a lot but just a really plain simple quite a thin long swimming pool like that and then we want some really white tiles I think just to sort of offset a lot of the black and, and these orange tiles here. So what have we got that we can have white? What are you? Okay, not hating that. I actually quite like the long shape of the tile. Like that. Do we carry it up to there? No, no we don't. I tell you what I am going to use, it's one of my favourite things is gravel. Let's get some gravel in there. We do have gravel here somewhere in the flooring. Uh, let's go to all. And there's definitely gravel. There we go, that's gravel. Maybe a bit lighter than that. Can we have like a lighter? Yes, that, maybe. Do I like that? I do, actually. I do really like that. We're sort of going off the track of eco, though. We need to get more eco items in. Can I go right to the edge with this? Yes, that works. Okay, so now we just need a barrier of some description. Maybe a garden plot? See, I like... We do have garden plots either side. So we could just do that. And then the same on this side. Do sort of that. It doesn't scream eco though, does it? You really want grass. In no, do you know what? That's what I'm going with. I've made my decision. I haven't got time to, to go back on it and change lots. Uh, we definitely need to get some more planting in there though. So if I... Can I delete tiles like this? No? Nope, apparently not. Okay, so let's use the hammer. How about we put a couple of trees in? So if I do that and then go to fencing, we're going to go to the invisible fence thingy, which is probably not that one. Illusion fence, there we go. We want some of that. Like that. Lovely. We want to get some mud in there. Or we could leave these as plant planting zones, but I feel like we need some trees in there to break it up a bit. Like that. There we go. Lovely. Do I want some height? Yeah, probably. Let's get. Let's see what trees we got. My initial thought is palm trees, but I just think that's a bit much for this area. What have we got that would... Have we got any fruit trees? Fruit trees would be good. Is that fruit? No, that's plant. That's like flowers. Have we got an apple tree? I'm sure there was an apple tree at some point. That's really nice. It's a bit big. What happens if I shrink it down? It's still going to be a bit big, right? Yes. Okay, no good. Hmm. Do we have... Let me type apple tree. Apple. Apple blossom. Hmm, no. A fruit trees would be a really good idea if you're doing an eco build. Like... That's huge. I did use that on one of my builds before, though, but I feel it's a bit big for this build. Maybe a little one like that. And then marry it up with something. What are you? Breadfruit tree. Oh, so you've got fruit on you. You're a bit big, but that would work. Do we need some sort of barrier around it? Which we probably do, but obviously we can't take fencing right up to the edge of the lot. Which has been a thing in all the Sims, and I, I don't 
understand the reasoning behind it, but apparently there must be some reason. I'm thinking we need more grass now. It just it just feels like we're graveling everything. Let's get rid of some of this. We'll get some grass back in there. Like that, maybe. And then we could probably open all this up. Let's get rid of this here. See, this is what I do. I do it and then go, no, I don't, I'm, I'm not liking that too much. I definitely think we need more grass. I'm running out of time. We haven't got any electrics or things like that in at the moment. This side, I'm not too unhappy with. Maybe the gravel's too white. Oh no, I've done that wrong. Go back. Because we still need to leave... Do you know what? We could do lawn... If we get rid of that. And that would work alright, actually. I think just bringing that green back in really... Adds to the more natural feel. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's better. I bet you were all screaming at the screens going, Why are you putting all that gravel everywhere? Why? It just looks awful. You're correct. It did look awful. And now it's gone. So that's okay. We can go with that. Do I have different colour grass tiles so we can do like striped grass? Is this going to work? Or is it going to look weird? It's going to look weird. We're not going to do that. <laughs> you learn as you go. Um, okay, so what was I doing? I was going to look for some sort of natural tree. I think these are really good. Especially for like a modern build like this. I'd really like like a larger tree of this. A larger version, like longer. Um, because the issue is now I have to sit here and go and try and line them up and then move on and try and line them up and then move on and try and line them up. I'm probably just, I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to the pool on this. I think just along this grass area here will add that plant feel to it. Although when we get to this point we're going to be a bit stuck. Hmm, decisions. Let me think about it. Try a few things out. I'll bring you back for the final product. And we've got a somewhat sort of garden. I've actually changed the swimming pool for a pond. Because I feel that's more eco-friendly. Like natural animals. So you can have um, dragonflies and things like that flying around here. It'd be lovely. I've... Put a little planting area between the two trees and raised it up slightly so it looks a bit, a bit arty-ish. I don't know. Uh, that's what we've gone for. Uh, we've got a tiny little fence coming around the pooled area, and then we've got a little bit, well, pond area, and then we've got a bit of greenery around the front and a bit of greenery around the back. And I've also squeezed in the back here. We've got a beehive, and we've got one of these water collectors. Which is something that you can't really to get to fit into a normal build. In my head, this build was supposed to be quite a normal building that proves you don't have to have a strange building to be eco. And you don't by any means. This is quite... Okay, it's a small footprint. Um, so it, obviously you're saving materials, which is helping the environment. Um, I'm going to pretend that this big piece that goes over the top here is made from recycled plastic ah, and then you do have a lot of planting areas so you've got three beds here you've got two beds there you've got three beds here you could also plant around the bases of the trees so it's quite a good area to plant in i have left parts of this open just because the plot's not really big enough if we can actually have this piece which looks like it belongs to us anyway we could have moved it over one, expanded the grass slightly on either side, and then put the hedge going all the way around. But we don't have an option of that. So I've put some eco panel in along that one single piece of roof we got there. We got that from expanding the kitchen area, which worked out beautifully. So now we've got four solar panels on there. And I just think this builds really nicely. It's turned out a lot better than I was expecting it to. I was expecting to use it as a table as a base might not be the best idea but I actually really like that I like the fact you can come in from this path you can come in to the house from this path the front door sort of hidden away it is just like glass but then you've got that table that makes it feel like a building 
I will test this obviously beforehand to make sure it all works and the sims can use everything. Um, if everything's okay, I'll upload it onto the Steam... Uh, Steam... I say that all the time, it's because I'm on Steam all the time. Uh, up onto the Sims shop, th workshop thing. Uh, the hashtag will be just Vosco. So if you want to check it out, get over there and uh, search just Vosco. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It really does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.